I'm coming to you today from my hotel room in Lexington, Kentucky. I've ministered in more than a hundred countries and I've been all over the world, but never been to the horse capital of America, Lexington, Kentucky. What a great seminar we had last night. There was a young lady who was brought to the seminar by a group of ladies who were involved in rescuing young women from human trafficking. And this young woman had an absolutely unbelievable deliverance last night. And I just commend these women of God for what they're doing to reach out to these precious and fortunate young women who have been victimized in this way. And today I've got a full schedule of personal one-on-one -on -one encounters as I do every weekend, doing what we can to see people set free in the name of Jesus. And I encourage you, if you haven't had your encounter yet, get one. I want to comment on something that's been in the Christian news and even the secular news this week. Prosperity preacher Jesse Duplantis, you may or may not watch him on television, is asking for $54 million to buy himself a new jet. He already has three jets to get around the country, but he wants a new one. He says this one has fighter jet technology and a whisper quiet executive cabin. Well, obviously, he's gotten a little bit of blowback from Christians and non-Christians. To which Jesse said, oh, I'm not asking for the money. I'm just asking you to believe that God will provide the money. And Jesse, come on now. <laughs> That's a bit disingenuous. But nevertheless, I'm not here to discuss the pros and cons of it. He answers to the Lord, not to me. But what concerned me was a fellow minister defended Jesse in the Christian press with an article. And one of the things he said I found disturbing. He said, look, those of you who don't like him raising $54 million for another jet, perhaps it's because of pride. And anyway, do you have a better idea about how to use that money? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. How about this group that was in my seminar last night, or others who were involved in rescuing people from the human trafficking industry, or how about raising that money for pro-life ministries, or homes for battered women, or drug rehab centers that are Christian-founded? I think they could make a lot better use of $54 million. I'm not here to criticize Jesse Duplantis as a person. It's the principle of this whole thing. In fact, I'm not here to criticize any preacher, anybody who preaches the gospel. Philippians 1.18 says that we're to praise God wherever Christ is preached. So if the gospel is preached to some extent, in fact, Paul said even in contention that he would praise God. So thank God for whatever good Brother Jesse is doing and others with whom I may not completely agree, but that's not the point. I would like to suggest that maybe it's time, instead of focusing upon high-profile prosperity preachers, we give some honor to whom honor is due. And I'm talking about the unsung heroes of men and women in deliverance ministries all over the country many of whom labor in secret sometimes, even their own pastors don't know, because they wouldn't allow it. And sometimes these folks have the most meager means to go about their work. They don't have $54 million. They don't have beautiful buildings, and they don't have an executive jet. They are spiritual warriors on the front line, rescuing souls from Satan. And it is these folks that I pay homage to and give credit today. God bless you for what you're doing. Many of you have been through our International School of Exorcism, or you are part of our Do What Jesus Did ministry. We love and appreciate you. And even though you may not make the headlines of controversy like Jesse Duplantis or any other prosperity preacher, you're doing a great job. Let's be honest. There's not a prosperity preacher in America that I know of who on a regular basis of any kind does deliverance or even talks about it and promotes it on a serious basis.
But thank God there are men and women out there, like many of you who are part of this ministry, doing a great job for Jesus. And you know what? You don't need a $54 million jet. All you need is a Bible, a cross, and anointing oil to set the captives free in the name of Jesus. Thank God for you and what you're doing.